What's up, everybody? This is Ingram. I'm one of the Minecrafters, and we're back with another Mine Factory Reloaded mod tutorial thing. So today, what we're going to go over um, are a few of the uh, machines that have been giving people some trouble. We're going to go over the mob grinder, and we're going to go over um, a combination of our animal farm tutorial and also our wheat farm or automated uh, just automated plant farm tutorial um, and we're going to tie those in we're going to use finally uh, make use of mob essence and sewage and industrial fertilizer and I'll show you how to use a safari net really quick um, we're not going to use these syringes but you can use them and we're definitely going to need the precision sledgehammer so what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to set up and I've got one set up over here in slaughterhouse 5 it is a fully automated mob slaughterhouse that harvests the um, this green stuff here. Oh, that's dangerous. Harvests the uh, the green stuff called mob essence, which is you know those little things that fall out of a mob that give you experience points. That's basically what this is, um, except we're going to harvest it on a on a massive scale. And if you're wondering why we're going to do this, this is our auto enchanter rig. Um, Captain Jack goes over that and his enchanting tutorial you're definitely going to want to take uh, a look at that he explains what all these enchants are going to do where you can use them why they're good um, and why you should really be interested in in that machine so what we have here is a modified version of our animal farm you recognize this half um, from your your previous tutorial and we've actually doubled it and there's going to be two halves to this whole farm we're going to basically the principle is we're gonna raise adults on this or we're gonna have adults on this side and we're gonna breed them the babies are gonna get pulled over onto this side and raised and then once they become adults they're gonna get um, gonna get basically chewed up by the mob grinder so it's kinda horrible but um, we do it in the most humane way possible right I don't I don't even know I mean we give them nice like look at like a nice cage and everything we even collect all their poop for them. Um, so basically what we're looking at here is these are sewage collectors. And anything that runs on top of these, like wee, like me, apparently when I run around that fast, I poop a lot. So these things are going to collect all the poop. And the uh, the any animal you put on top of this, the baby cows, pigs, large pigs, cows, sheep, everything, basically every, everybody in the game, um, according to the Minecraft modders, they just poop constantly. So... These things are going to actually grab all that, and we're going to compost it and turn it into uh, sewage. And we can see right down there the composter. So all this sewage is going to come into the composter. The composter is going to take it and turn it into fertilizer, which is going to go into our um, automatic wheat farm. Okay, and then oh, let's zip over that really quick. I'm going to cover everything so people know what we're talking about. We went over this automatic wheat farm in a previous tutorial. And basically what this thing does is it plants all these wheat seeds. Um, then it uses the fertilizer to instantly grow them. And there's a little bit of a graphics issue going on here. Oh, actually, I didn't, haven't get any fertilizer. That's probably why. If we just throw in a little bit of fertilizer in here. And we have a slightly different setup now. I'm using a ender chest. Um, the composters in there are going to pump fertilizer into an ender chest, which is linked right here. And this ender chest is going to um, be hooked up to this advanced wooden transport pipe, which is powered by a redstone energy cell from the thermal expansion mod. Um, all these pipes are linked to our power core over there. There are separate tutorials on every single one of these things. Um, and then the advanced transport pipe is going to is just going to have in it um, one piece of fertilizer. That's our filter. If we put any fertilizer in here at all, you can see it's immediately getting sucked out. And if we wait for the graphics delay, um, it's actually coming up, there we go, through that tube and into our fertilizer. Now, this fertilizer is going to take, it's going to instantly grow. We can see that doing that there. It's going to instantly grow all the wheat. This thing's going to harvest the wheat. Um, it's full now, so it's spitting all over the place. But it will then pump any wheat into this chest. And that chest is back in our farm here. We're back in our mob factory, our slaughterhouse five. We're using that ender chest, you can see it right here, and it's hooked up to a very similar system. Again, we have advanced wood transport pipe. This time we're pulling out wheat, 
and that wheat you can see it all coming right through there boom 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 that's actually going into our breeder so what we're gonna do is the farms are gonna keep this whole thing sustained it's gonna keep all these animals bred um, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put live um, adults in here they're gonna get bred and then we're gonna use this thing called the chronotyper which is gonna be set to move babies and you want to go if you look at the graphic here there's like a little dot in the center um, the two sides are identical except for the dot you can see there's no dot here this is the output and the other side was the input so it's gonna suck all the babies out of that side and stick them into this side now this side is identical um, except for the fact we're not gonna actually breed them we're gonna grind them and the mob grinder on ours our server we have tech it um, 057 tech it light it doesn't kill babies some people are reporting that it does kill babies if it does you guys are you guys are majorly in luck because um, adults breed every five minutes babies take 20 minutes to grow um, so if you can harvest these things every five minutes you're doing pretty well um, then this mob grinder I have it turned off right now just throwing it a redstone signal um, again it's powered from our remote core and all this thing is gonna do is it's gonna grind everything in front of it it'll build up in here a mob essence which is this green stuff and anything else that it produces from grinding them like for example we're gonna be grinding cows so it's gonna produce leather and meat it's gonna take that it's gonna dump it into this ender chest here um, it's smart enough to know where stuff can go um, the mob essence I'll show I'll show both of these things where they're going the mob essence is actually gonna come out the bottom so I'll just scoot around to the side here to show you that um, and we're gonna come into these things called liquid ducts you can use regular waterproof transport pipe um, it's the same thing except liquid ducts are high speed and they don't require redstone engines so over here we have um, our underneath our tanks we have just a redstone torch to power them and if we connect I'm gonna use a crescent hammer it's called or you can use the prototype Omni wrench to do this um, if your pipes become disconnected because I started over here and ran all the way over and then I had also started at this end and where they meet if you just right click oh, it's not gonna do it I'll just uh, I'll redo this I'll show you how these things work a liquid duct is added by the thermal expansion mod and they are much more reliable the whole mod is really um, I'm just gonna run this back over here and we should be able to connect that and you see how fast that was um, these things if they're under pressure will pump liquid in immediately okay so that's how we're getting the um, mob essence out of the machine it's coming into the back you can see it kind of going right there it's into the back of all these uh, build craft tanks and then out of the bottom of the build craft tanks we're gonna suck it all and pump it right into our enchanter now you can see that the enchanter is full and we'll, we'll go over that in just a split second so remember all the uh, oh, I better turn that farm off this thing is really backing up all over the place because we don't have any animals in it yet um, the grinder will put anything like meat and all that stuff into this ender chest now the ender chest is actually um, it's the same one that's linked over here just tagged uh, what I do blue blue white this is a sorting machine we're gonna go over these in a different tutorial this these things are great but for all you need to know for now is if you set it up exactly like what you see here except for we're gonna turn it to um, this rotating redstone mode and make sure that it's in um, any item uh, all stack mode I believe that's what that's called but what it'll do is if it sees one or more of book or beef or leather it will give itself a redstone pulse and pump those into a pneumatic tube and all we're doing at the top is the pneumatic tube is if we just break this here it's just splitting on either side and coming down into um, barrels for easy storage these barrels can be upgraded with storage upgrades they can hold like some obscene amount of them, uh, like 2,000 or 40,000, 4,096 stacks, I think, uh, if you do that upgrade. Um, we just have a battery box. I put a battery in it before, uh, keeping this thing powered so that we have enough to do what we're going to do. So, 
Uh, let's cut out here. I'm uh, I'm actually let me show you first uh, a few different ways to get to get mobs. I'm gonna cut over to that. Okay, so really quick, we're at the side of the slaughterhouse here. Um, there's two things that you should know. One is that animals, specifically cows, can be led around by wheat. Pigs need to use carrots, and I believe sheep are also wheat. But you can see I can drag these things around now. If you right-click with a piece of wheat on each one, they'll actually breed, and in a minute we'll see another little baby pop out. Boom. That's the principle that we're going to operate under. But nobody likes to lead um, sheep or lead these guys like sheep, I guess, into the slaughterhouse. It's a pain in the butt. So what we're going to do is we're going to use this thing called the safari net. And we're going to use two of them. Let me get out of creative mode because it, it breaks in creative mode. And all you do is you take this safari net, which is kind of a pain in the butt to make because you need a gassed tier. But you just take the safari net. These are reusable now. And if you just right click, you can't really see my hand moving, but if you just right click, it actually sucks the cow into the safari net and changes the item ID. And then if we just go back into our slaughterhouse and into the adult side, we can just drop this guy right I gotta right back down. And that's a fast way. Now this breeder is going to should try and breed them. I don't know if they technically have bred in a while. Nope, there they go. I don't know why it's not showing the little um little love making symbols, but there you go. There's a little baby. So we're gonna fill this thing up and we're gonna come back and see oh, did you see that little guy get ripped over on that other side? Where is he? There he is. See, the little baby got pulled right onto this side. Now, in 20 minutes, he's going to grow and get ground. Poor little guy. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, so there's lots of little guys in our mob farm now. And what we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to use the syringe really quick. You can set up an automatic um, syringe applicator with the um, veterinary station. You can actually heal damaged creatures and... Um, inject them with this stuff called growth hormone and these things are very expensive to make but what they do is they instantly grow I'm actually just right clicking on the little babies here and they instantly grow adults out of any creature well any animal I should say alright so now we have these little babies and let's say a few of them have grown up if we turn on our mob grinder we're gonna wait here for a minute and the cooldown is gonna go and as soon as the cooldown goes you can see there it's killing off the adults boom 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 the mob essence you can see it um, flowing through and into the back of these tanks and I don't know if you noticed the numbers before but our sorting machine has actually processed let's see if I can get in there our sorting machine has actually pulled the items immediately out so uh, the leather went up by a little bit and the meat went up by a little bit. So there you go. Now, what do we do with all that mob essence? This thing is great for farming leather and farming uh, meat, which you can put back into your sorting machine. Um, the big sorting machine rig, if you've seen that tutorial, you can have it automatically go into a furnace and get converted into um, edible food. But how does this thing actually operate? So in order to get that, uh, to get this machine set up, what we're going to do make sure you're piping in your mob essence and make sure it's connected to power that's really all you have to do um, this again is tied back to our uh, remote power core and as soon as those two things are in there then all that remains to be done is to actually use the machine now I'm not going to go too much into detail on this uh, Captain Jack has an excellent tutorial out that shows you what basically you just put a weapon or a book whatever you want in there and it'll automatically enchant it now you're gonna make sure um, you're gonna wanna make sure anyway to check out Captain Jack's tutorial he goes over exactly what's going on what all those bars mean and how you can actually use everything um, I'm just gonna show you one last thing before we go and that is how to make sure that this thing stays loaded now um, this will really depend on what your server um, allows if you're the OP or an admin you're fine um, sometimes they have restrictions on what you can use this is basically a chunk loader and it's the dimensional anchor which is added by Amimbus mods and what we're gonna do is if you actually go ahead and it the default key is F9 
And what that's going to do once you place it down is it'll show what chunks are being loaded. Now, if you notice, the chunk where the red square is is the one that's being loaded, and that doesn't actually cover our whole factory. So in order to make sure this thing runs all the time, we're actually going to just bump it out. The next one is a 3x3, three three, and that's three chunks by three chunks um, centered around this one. So if we hit F9 twice again, it'll refresh, and now we can see that we have a 3x3 three three and of chunks that are being loaded, and the whole factory is loaded. So that will allow us to have the factory run while we're offline or maybe in the nether or whatever. Um, it depends entirely on what you want to do. Uh, on that note, don't forget too that this setup can kill any type of mob or animal that's in front of it. So if you build one um, surrounding a mob, uh, what are those things called? The mob spawners. Sometimes you'll find um, spider mob spawners or skeleton mob spawners. If you build one of these things around it and it's close enough to where you are constantly, like if it's under your base or in your base or something, then this thing will constantly run um, and it doesn't require as much setup as this. The only thing is you need to be within 10 blocks, so it's a lot less reliable. And chunk loaders do not keep them loaded. You need to be, they're uh, proximity based. So make sure to account for that. Really quick before we go here, I want to cover this too, which is the, uh, these are the composters. And you can see that the sewage lines are feeding into these composters. And a couple of people were wondering if there's a way to do this stuff with red power instead of build craft. <sighs> Definitely is. You can see this one working. I much prefer red power. Um, Mine factory reloaded mods are smart enough, the machines rather, are smart enough to know where valid targets are. So if you put a relay, this is just a red power relay, if you put that directly underneath the composter, then any time that it actually makes a piece of fertilizer, it'll inject it into a relay. And relays basically just take what's in them and immediately eject it out. And we can see that one working automatically. And that will actually replace um, an entire build craft setup. You don't need to use pipes because red power won't back up. And the relay has an internal storage of nine stacks. So if this chest fills up, which would be awesome, you're not going to waste anything. Okay, so that's it. That's our automatic slaughterhouse um, that doubles as an auto-enchanting supply station. What you're going to want to do, make sure you check out the animal farm tutorial and the automatic uh, food farm tutorial. And also make sure you check out Captain Jack's Enchanting Guides Part 1 and Part 2. Guys, thanks for watching, and as always, stay poised.